Hello and welcome back to another episode of Brave New World Blindfolded. So this episode isn't going to involve a lot of fighting or anything, but well, even less than last one, really. I missed that up there. I was only supposed to take one step up. Oh, well, I can double check if I made it out properly. Well, I definitely didn't make it out properly if I'm back down the staircase. Alright, one step up, and let's do it properly this time. Yeah, now I'm in the right place. So now let's go back out, and now I'm back to familiar territory, because this is exactly the same sort of thing I had last segment. Down to the bottom. All the way to the right. One, two. Uh, right, up, right, two, three, and now four. Alright, now let's hopefully rob this guy before I get owned in the face by merchant armies. Thankfully, my legitimate attempts seem to be getting a lot more luck here with these guys than my uh, test runs did. Okay, I'm starting to think she blocked my way going right for that one step. Definitely not in the cutscene with that guy. Is she just like uber trolling me? There we go. Finally made it out. Not sure what was up with that, but... Alright, down to the staircase. Down the staircase. Down and left into this little notch. One back. Up into the doorway. This uh, man's house is kind of easy to remember, to be honest. Uh, it's laid out in a way that's kind of vivid to remember. Right, up, right, up. Right to this little desk that's conveniently in a good spot. I suppose it doesn't matter though, I could take one more step to the right and it wouldn't make a difference. Down one, down the staircase. Now I should be next to this kid, so I'll initiate the conversation. Now he says that I need to give him the password. And of course the password is always swordfish. And there we go, password accepted. Get off the staircase. Now I, I want to actually grab this tonic in Brave New World. I don't think I'll ever bother going back to this stupid little house for a... Well, stupid big house, I suppose, for a tonic and vanilla. But in Brave New World, the tonic is actually worth it. One to the left. All the way down. One back up. Now I can walk over to where this kid is again. Two steps to the right. 
One step down, and now I should be in the doorway. Yep, good, my menu isn't working, so I must have gotten the secret passageway properly. Alright, so I run up to the stove. I've kind of memorized the position of four of the multitude of objects in this room, but that should be enough to get me through. I've memorized the position of the two yellow pots, the one stove, and of course the clock, because that. Up the staircase. And out the door. Alright, so now I'm outside here. Easy to remember this bit. And the music goes off. Alright, so the nice thing about this room is that pretty much no matter what I do, as long as I just keep pressing up and left, I should end up on the top floor in a spot that I know, so I don't even bother need to figure this room out at all. Alright, so let's go right, down, now it's uh, back to trip down memory lane because I did this quite a while ago segment wise thankfully there's no stupid person in this room this time to make me lose any segments and I also get the draft noise to help me out one two and now it's shut off back to this again go all the way down to the bottom just because I know where everything is that was part of my earlier route to go down there so alright so I'm in the cutscene again yes there we go people are beating up Celeste I mean oh no you horrible people stop beating up Celeste Oh, rats, I deleted half her name. <laughs> Whatever, you can be Cell. Unless I just want to stick a random letter on the end. You can be that. Good enough. In hindsight, I probably don't even need to be using my uh, menu trick here because of that. Yeah. Wasn't sure how close it would be to the end of the cutscene, though. One, two, and I'm not going to make the same mistake I did. Okay, the door was closed. I swear last time when I did the test run, I didn't hear it. Whatever. There we go, freed Celeste. This time I do need to use the menu trick because I don't know when this one's gonna end. Oh, this cutscene's pretty long. And let's take your key. Stealing is not wrong. Stealing is perfectly okay.
lots of menu trick in this segment. Alright, so, right one step, out of the room. And into the save point room. Second, I was worried I walked into the wrong room. Ow. Alright, so that's the end of that segment. See you next time.